Hello everybody and welcome to the quick part 2 of the Optiplex GX280. I'm going to be putting in the new video card for this thing, so I need to get it out and get it set up. I'll be right back with you. This is the item we will be inserting into the GX280 today. This is a ATI Radeon something 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 B629. So we're going to put this in there. Get it cracked. I'll be right back. The case has been cracked. And now to insert the new card, you just lift up this green little handle. The simple pull out. Pull outward motion. And then you take the new graphics card. Move the offending cord out of the way. And stick her in. Except... If you notice, this thing's too tall, so let me fix that. So the card has been inserted with that little bracket thing, and the Molex to, or the, well, yeah, it's a 59 pin DMS 59 connector to VGA thing hooked up. So I'm going to close the case, break something, and I'm pretty sure I just broke that. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't manage to break that. Alright. Lucky me. So, I'm going to not break something. Go get the monitor set up. I'll be right back. Okay, the monitor has been hooked up, and so is the power. So I'm going to press the power button, and I'm going to try this baby out. It'll probably do the yellow thing, but that's fine. I'll just correct that, cut the video after it happens. Okay, so <laughs> it's working perfectly right off the bat. Uh, so I'm going to go into, well, actually, no, I'm just going to boot into Cinnamon. So I will cut that again, and we will check out how that video hardware reacts. I hate this autofocus. So Linux Mint Cinnamon seems to be working perfectly fine with the graphical hardware and experiences no crashes. So I'm going to try XP, and I'll be right back with that. So this works perfectly fine as well, and it just brought up the new hardware wizard, so I might consider taking some time to read that. Um, yeah, no, I guess not. Doesn't want to respond. Yeah, it seems to have completely frozen. Delightful. So there's a problem right there, but it might be just the USB keyboard, you know, being found by the new hardware, which if it is, is the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> oh well. So I'm going to say it works correctly, and I'm just going to shut it down. And that'll be it for part two, so thank you for watching. This has been an incredibly short video, I know, but hey... It's been right to the point. So, thank you for watching, and if you wish to see more computer videos like this GX280 video, well, I, w I will be making them. Simple as that.